There we go. Okay, so now I've I've got recording. Let's let's do this. So I've been I've been dicking around while while podcast happens. And I made some dumb things. I actually don't know where the water trap is, which is a little bit concerning. Um uh, Oh, don't don't do this to me, guys. Do you guys really want you guys really want this, don't you? Okay, so first and foremost, I'm gonna get over here. Um, where did I leave it? It's a yeah, there it is. It's over on the left. I need to make this thing somehow stabler, like somehow never never tip. I've I've got one of those unflippable glitches. Let's see if I can flop this over. There we go. This thing is really hard to control, by the way. It'd be easier if the character totally was divorced from the tire, but there's no easy way to get that to happen. Or maybe there is, I don't know, this will take some more getting used to. It's just fun to have a giant tire that I can drive around and figure it out. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna save this as the... Um... I don't even know what I'm gonna call this one. I actually had somebody, uh, angry at me, because, uh, somebody was angry at me because I wasn't crediting the original offer of the Swagster Hoops, even though, like, 110%, that's, I, I've done that, it's there. It is, in fact, happened. Uh, if you actually go look at the Swagster Hoops, um, I, I, I credited the author right then and there. This is going to be bad. Um, but yeah, uh, somebody was like, honestly, quite, quite offended that I, I hadn't, oh, crap, I need to try the skin, flip it around. Oh, really? Can I not? Interesting and frustrating. All right, whatever. I guess I'll build it horizontally. Um, How do I do it? Anyway, we're gonna... We made the King of Old Wongles. We're gonna make a Mega Wongle today. It's gonna be short. It's gonna be real easy. I just needed something... Something funny. Oh yeah, I forgot. We've also got a ludicrous speed engine. I've never seen one of these things in action. Is this... That is. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. We're gonna put... The regular pipes. This, this is gonna be a problem. I don't think I'm actually going to use this big tire in retrospect. I think we're going to use one of the combat tires instead. Uh, this thing. It's a little bit smaller. I know there's... I know it's not, like, as mega of a wongle. As, like, some of the other wongles I've... I've wongled in the past. But that's okay. Shell has found an image of Newman Sky, which is... Uh, was it Gary Newman? The mailman from from Seinfeld. It's pretty funny looking. Google it, I don't know. And she's also being haunted by ants. Okay, so. I don't know what this is gonna do. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller, but it, it looks cooler, I think. It really does actually look a lot cooler. So anyway, let's, uh, let's save this horrible monstrosity of So this is the Mongol. Go for it. Go for it, young one. Off into the distance. It actually really just does kind of like weird spinny things. Huh. Well. I guess it works. You know what? I'm actually going to shorten the Mongol. It's going to be a bit... Maybe it'll actually like flip here and stuff. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit more wongly. That is a lot more wongly. See you later, you brave bastard. You know what, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna build a Mongol. Uh... Shoot. We're gonna delete the Mongol. I gotta say, share it somehow. There we go. I think this will work. I have no idea exactly how... Uh, sharing the Mongols gonna function, seeing as the Mongol it requires, like, derf, MGM, and other things. Okay, let's, let's, uh, add remove required DLC. 
Oh, there's no DLC. Okay, well that's fine. It needs proportional weight of the engine to make it better. I think currently that's that's fine. So let's edit title and description. Okay, there we go. This way, if people are like, why can't I download it? There's our answer. Okay, so we've we've saved this. Changes have been saved, back to the item, and I'll make it public. If you guys have all of those mods, then uh, then then you can actually use the Mongol. Otherwise, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's, let's see, so that, that, that bugger's off. Let's, so I've been working on this sucker who is a giant nightmare. This world's getting a little bit laggy. I think the combination of the Mongol and maybe a couple other things, I don't even know. Really, we need to figure out how to get this thing to not fall over, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. So let, let's, let's get some sensors in here and go from there. So we're gonna one. Probably easiest if we get rid of that. The problem is the tire's kind of in the way. So it's gonna make this a fair bit harder. Cause it's not gonna work. Cause, I mean, I guess I could cut the tire off. Yeah, I guess we'll just cut the tire off. Which sucks a lot, but whatever. Okay, so we want one there. Yeah, this world's definitely get, been getting laggier as I've been here. I don't know if that's the Mongol mongling off and doing its mongly business. Um, but still, I don't know. Is Wander really quiet? Should I? I shouldn't be that quiet. Mic no, it shouldn't be. Alright. I'll turn myself up a little bit more. The problem is, uh, down mixing to mono actually cuts a little bit of my, my volume. And there's not much I can do about that. Sadly. Because, uh, what I... Uh, if I didn't do it, you guys would only be hearing me louder out of one ear, and that's not exactly a great situation either. I don't know. I'm too tired for technical difficulties right now. I don't want to deal with them. Is this, this thing twitching regularly? I don't even know. I have to make a giant dune buggy with those tires. Oh no, I got a ton of I got a ton of things that I I really want to make now. Now that I've access to all this nonsense. Oh shoot, they're all gonna impact with each other, aren't they? Oh, this isn't gonna work. Okay. It's really compact. And it's going to cause nothing but collision issues. Fabulous. I guess let's get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna expand it out. I, I currently don't have the patience for too much. I'm really tired. So we're just gonna expand it out. Maybe maybe I'll make the the foot look a little bit more like enginey for the time being. But currently it's just going to be this kind of cross like shape for the time being. That way, none of my um, none of my sensors will impact with each other, and we won't have to worry about this. Sensor positioning is the dumbest. They've got this like weird button on it, and I really wish it, not button like this like little extra bit, and I don't like it because it gets really confusing. It, it makes it makes rotating it around obnoxious, but I guess. Whatever. And you're pointed the wrong direction. You're pointed the right direction. And you are. Okay, so now they should be able to rotate freely. We don't have to worry about anything. We can still fit the tire in here somehow. I guess what I could do is easily just cut in that. There we go. Okay, so I believe it's not this one. Is it the 15 by 7? I want to say it's the 15 by 7. No. Yes? It is the 15 by 7. Does it... It goes down by one more? Or is this stuff in the way? 
There might actually be multiple reasons why it's not going to fit in. Yeah, it's totally the 15 by 7. I guess we got to get this on a lift. And then further expand this out. Because, yeah, we've got to have the... Um... Oh, you can see the Mongol going off there. Yeah, that is totally in the Wongle family. Balancing was there, but still. Okay. So we've got this. It's actually kind of amusing. Uh, this is going to be... I I'm going to say a... Uh... I'm going to be a bit contrarian, I guess, but a lot of my moderators are sick of the word Wongle, which I can totally empathize with. Uh, I can totally see why, like, why like people get really annoyed about people saying Wongle over and over and over and over again. Because, boy, you guys say it a lot in live chat. It's still a funny side joke to me, though. I actually really appreciate it. But I can totally see where the annoyance comes from, sometimes. Okay, so let's hook this up to... an engine. reverse one of these. Let's cut it free. Okay, there we go. Let's get rid of this dumb long length, long bar thing. I don't even know. Um, so we've got the sensors. Oh. Whoops. Fuck. God. Mm. Okay, I'll just have that rotate manually. Or, oh, did it just rotate freely like that? I don't even know. Okay, whatever. Let's let's get uh, some controllers up in this. I mean, realistically, it's probably easy if it, easiest if I actually have them here. Let's do that. Oh. Mm. Hmm. So that one goes there. This one. Here. So what I can actually do is have that be the third. Okay, the third the third bearing will be the rotational one. Hmm. I should probably actually have multiple multiple controllers with this. This whole thing is just shifting just slightly. And it's worrying me. Okay, so there we go. So we get that, we get this, we get this. Okay. So hook that up there, hook this up here. Hook this to this and this. Okay. That should be fine. Yeah. I love this remix, by the way. This is definitely one of my favorites. If you guys have never heard uh, the Megas before, they do a really good job. Oh shoot, we wanna we wanna do this first. But like, there it's it's like rock opera stuff, but it actually uses the uh, the actual t tunes. Like, so this song is actually like has the lyrics associated with it in my head now, and it's actually really cool, and I really appreciate it. And uh, Like, just listening to this, I'm, I'm hearing the words in my head, and it's actually super distracting. Um, because I'm not used to that sort of thing. So let's do, let's do 45, I think. So that means all these sensors are hopefully going to rotate 45 degrees in the right direction. Unless I'm, like, horribly mistaken. Did I just, like, shoot forward or something? It looks like it. Which is really confusing. But, eh. Uh. Is that. Oh. I see what's going on. There we go. I didn't hook this up properly. Okay, there we go. So, 3 is going to be 45. It looks like these kind of keep it up. We might need more suspension glitches than this. Which could be a little worrisome. 
The other thing is I'm probably going to need another set of suspension glitches to get this to turn. I'll think about that for the time being. We haven't actually seen if this thing can even go up, right? Okay, let's see if I can get out here. Let's see if they're all ro uh, rotated the right direction. Okay, it looks like they're all pointed down. We might want to only go with 60 degrees, honestly. Yeah, let's do let's do 60 degrees. That way, they're more likely to not just immediately fire off at all times. It might do it anyway, which might not be so bad. Or 30 degrees. I really wish you could press E or escape or something. Uh, to to buy to get out of the rotation editor here. Is it is a bit not mind numbing, but uh, a bit annoying that I have to manually close this every single time. I guess it'll be fine. I'm curious why it keeps bumping like this, though. Okay, I think that's all the stuff. I'm gonna turn up both of these engines. Oh. I hooked it up to the decorative engines. I have some engines back there. They're kind of meaningless. Okay. Have the suspension glitch. Maybe that's the reason why they're... We're bumping. Oh yeah, it is. It's because they were loose. And they were like bonking into each other just a little bit. That's cool. Okay, so we've got the, we've got the suspension set up. We've got everything. So next we want to... I'm gonna summon a swagster hoop if I can. The regular, I guess the regular wander trap is okay. Let's see, is it 30 degrees? It's just 30 degrees. I don't know if you need to go any more or less with one of these suspension glitch bits here to keep things up. But I mean, if I'm if I'm if I've done 30 degrees in one, we might as well thir do 30 degrees in all. We'll have to work on stability. In retrospect, this thing might just immediately start moving on me. We have no idea how, how it's going to actually function here. Okay. Everybody's f freaking out in chat a little bit. Oh, crap. I don't even... Huh. I don't even know how this thing's supposed to... How these glitches are supposed to work, necessarily. Well, let's put it here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get this done first. Okay. So. We've got a ton of suspension glitches here. I'm not even gonna think about the other stuff first. Okay. So this one. If this... Sensor gets set off. We want this one to push us that way, I think. So let's flip that one too. Okay. Because if this one's set off, it's tilting a little bit to the right. Okay, I believe blue is the correct direction. I could be wrong, I haven't messed with this enough in a while either. Okay, and let's crank all these to the end. I think I've turned off sound effects, but at the same time, it seems like a good idea anyway. Do do so now. This might just like horribly crash the game. I have no idea. I haven't I haven't messed with this very well or in a long time. Usually my builds are just like goofy and der derivative, and to be fair, this is a little bit derivative considering the Swagster Hops is the original template for all of this. But it's still... I feel like I'm kind of blazing new ground to some degree with this goddamn ridiculous behemoth. And I'm way too tired for this sort of thing right now. Well, let's see if it stands.
Okay. So first order of business, it might or might not be a bit front front heavy, but I think 45 degree angles are actually okay. Because, yeah, the moment it hits one of those, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is okay. I need to close this, cover this backside a little bit better. Does it drive? It does. Okay. Well, let's see if this claptrap needs way more suspension glitches. Like, substantially more. Also, that backside kind of opens up. Oh, interesting. The wheels on the bus don't turn at all. Let's see if that works. Oh, here we go! Okay. <laughs> oh, Houston. Houston, we have Prabble. We have serious claptrap Prabble time. Okay, so for starters, this sucker doesn't stand at all. One question is... We don't even... Hmm, maybe part of it is these aren't turning the right way. Oh yeah, they're not. Let's see if it writes itself like this. Nope, it doesn't. Let's flip it over. Let's see if it writes itself on... Oh. Hmm. Well, I've taught my claptrap to do a handstand. I mean, for starters, we probably really need to turn down this engine. Like, let's leave it at that, because that is way too strong. I can't get this thing to stand up properly at all. And I think that suspension glitch is actually fighting me. So we want the bottom one. Okay, let's see if I can get it to help me. Okay, we're writing ourselves a little bit better. And it's like valiantly trying to write us. But I think we need more. The other option is we can try doing, like, thrusters and stuff. Make some arms before I forget. I want this thing to be able to stand on its own before I try slapping arms on it. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's... Let's let's go throw this back on the drawing board. I think I need... I need... I think I need some reference. For I had the... For how I had the, uh, suspension glitches set up. So let's... Let's resummon the the original wander trap. How are how are all of these things hooked up and how do they function? Okay, so if this is set off, this rotates away from that side, really? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Because, yeah, this guy keeps up. Okay, so I think the front side's okay. What about this? What if I stand right here? This doesn't work. Why? Unless they're all going at once. Are they all going at once? They are all going at once. So maybe 60 is... 60 is wrong. Or they're only strong enough... to keep this thing up... when it's stable. But they're not enough to, to keep it up beyond that. Yeah, so I, I have to balance this thing. Uh, this is why I don't do big, complicated. Oh, fuck. 
Oh no. This is why I don't do big complicated builds. Ever. Because they're hard. They're hard to do. So... Yeah, we could use thrusters to keep this thing upright. You joke about that, but you're not wrong. Honestly, what we need are more suspension glitches, which is a bad thing. But yeah, this is way, way too heavy for its own good otherwise. Ugh, I really wish I had defaulted with that aw open. Yeah, so they're already going just keeping this thing up. Which is honestly kind of an issue. Well, at least it's kindly fallen over and died for me. Which sounds really grim. Kind of is. Okay, for starters, we're going to turn off this engine. I'm going to get rid of that thing. I might actually have to have this, this sucker mountable from the top. Because currently, he doesn't. So yeah, I could use thrusters. I might do thrusters. We'll think about thrusters. Have that there. It's four, right? Yes. So I'm just going to have more... I'm just gonna have more suspension glitches going going up the entirety of this thing. Uh, if I need to, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Actually, we're just gonna get rid of these engines. We're gonna need to put them elsewhere. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say people have been bewildered about the fact that you know there's no bird and no Batbeard and no no anybody else with me. I'm moving. Bird's computer's fuckled and Batbeard's tired. And these are all. These are all uh, reasons why I am by myself for once, and that's okay. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of fun to play this game solo, even though honestly I really do prefer playing this game with friends. <sighs> I'm also dead tired, uh, and it's messing with my head, like pretty pretty badly, because it's been convention time for poor Shell. Which has been fun and whatever, but, uh... But, uh, so she's been doing that, and of course, you know, I've had to kind of count out to her sleep schedule, but not well. Huh, interesting that they're doing that. I don't know. I'm curious. And a bit amused. I guess they, like kind of bonked into the other ones somehow. There's an ant on my f near my feet, isn't there? Maybe, I have no idea. He might have just freaked out and ran away. I'm so used to things crawling over my feet at this point that it's starting to become not a neurosis, but a constant uh, just a constant awful annoyance. Okay. I have to figure out how to wire these up. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to handle this. It'll be okay. Uh, looks like they're all all set right. Let's get the lightweight block down the listing. But yeah, no. The the, the problem with like my reliance on multiplayer is if I don't have multiplayer, suddenly I don't have content. Uh, and so the oh, hi. So my options devolve to. Either no no footage period or um no footage period or solo stuff. So this happened when Bird was specifically moving to to Seattle and couldn't do anything either. And so it's like, all right, we'll do some solo stuff. Maybe we'll find some new people. Any number of things, really. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna make this thing. Ugh. Got a hair. Ha got a hair in my mouth. There it is. I got a hair in my mouth. Never good. Okay. So we more or less want all of these to be turning inwards. 
pushing inwards. Not at all times, obviously, but still. Because that's how the suspension glitches, I think, are supposed to work. I think this is all correct. Okay, so let's try these. Let's see if I can get this thing to stand back up on its side. I guess the other thing I could do is... Test. Whoa! We're doing... We're going... Nope, we're not going places. Oh, I just realized that's pointing the wrong direction. And that is too. Wait, no, it's not. Oh, we're flipping. Okay. So maybe... All of these are backwards. The problem is it is now moving. Okay. So we do want them to be pointing inwards here. Oh, but they're also upside down. I have no idea how this is going to work. Okay, so this is pointing inwards, this is pointing inwards. Oh, that's the claptrap. Part. Okay, so let's try reversing these. Hey, we got we got it. Oh. But we also are causing problems. Not many problems. But it is an issue. So for starters, we've got to move our suspension glitches. Oh, uh, this is... This is laggy. This is bad laggy. Okay, um... I guess the easiest way to do this is... Yeah, this poor thing can't... Has too many suspension glitches that are fighting with each other. I think I might just gut the backside. You know what? Let's gut the backside. Uh, the only way we know how. We've only got... We've got a tire here. We don't need the double bearing set up. Uh, let's see. Cut this off. Cut these off. I'm gonna just start taking off suspensions. The only part of this suspension glitch setup that's good is the central bit. Everything else, kind of bad, needs needs work. Uh, that's why big builds are hard. Poor claptrap. It's freaking out here. Okay. Let's stand it back up. Let's bring it down. Uh, let's see. Where's the... Where's the this? Oh, it's all the way here. I'm gonna just get rid of this. There. Bam. Done. Cut a hole in the back. We'll, fi we'll figure the rest of that out later. Um, I guess I'll make a, a step or something. Might need to make more. Okay. Clear this out. This is a mess. This is such a mess. Uh, I should have... I should have... I, I really need to figure out a better system. For this, like, it looks really slick, but the actual execution needs a ton of work. And that's annoying. Okay. Oh, and there goes the game. Huh. I think I know exactly what's happening, too. I think they bumped into each other, like, top to top, or not top to top, but like, 
Yeah, I kind of want to test that actually. Let, let's do a quick test. Let, let's let's go back. And let's let's save what we had and then make a new world because that one was getting worse. And then I'll like drop them into each other. Well, honestly, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna need a break before I keep going too much further. Cause I want, I want, I want to try, um, dropping two suspension glitch e things on top of each other. At least we didn't lose our world. I actually had to rebuild the uh, the the wander trap from start because the um, it it broke somehow. Where after recording for like two and a half hours earlier, uh, you know, I I, I quit because I was gonna go play Starbound with Gull. And what happened was, I came back and there was just no world. I had no save. So I had to rebuild the entire thing, which sucked. But luckily we had like a two hour podcast that I could just sit there and do that for. Which is actually really nice. Um, but I think in this case, I think I'm just going to save and we'll keep working on this tomorrow. Actually, I'm surprised I have enough uh, scrap mechanic footage. Oh, fuck. Hi. Well, he went flying in a rain of scrappy bits. Yeah, so let's let's keep clearing this out just a little bit. So we got a lot. Eh, we got a lot here. And it's a bit awkward. Okay, there we go. So we've still got our central one. We've still got that. I can't move that. Well, I could. I could maybe move it up behind the eye or something. We need a better... We need a much better suspension glitch system than we currently have. Okay. What if I do something like this? Hmm. No. Well, oh, this will work. It's going to be a bit of a mess, but what we're going to do is have one on every interior surface here. It'll still give me room to fit the controllers. I'll have to put the engines elsewhere. But I think this will work. And this way we'll have four suspension glitches, but we won't have to worry about them competing in weird ways, apart from being next to each other. Which I have yet to actually see be a legitimate problem with suspension glitches. I think eventually I'm just going to have to cut this thing up and use it as, as like a, a base for all major stability glitches. I've got one or two other stability glitches I can work with. I haven't messed with them that much though, because I don't- I really don't know how stable they are. And I'd prefer to stay relatively stable with my builds. The more crashes we run into, the more I lose steam on things. Though honestly, that crash was kind of a nice little relaxy time for me. Uh, so I, I guess it wasn't all bad. Okay, let's put caution blocks over those. Actually, before we go too much further, we probably want to build these up. And I'll have the controllers on the inside, or... You know what? Maybe I'll have the controllers on, like, a hatch. I don't know. I don't entirely know what the plan is with that. But yeah, this way we have kind of this wall of isolation, which I can fill with more more suspension glitches if needed uh, for turning. But honestly, if it can turn to flip itself over, my assumption is this thing is pretty stable. Or not stable. Uh, the three suspension glitches should be enough. Which makes me a little confused. as to why it was glitching out earlier. Okay. So we want to have 
One, two. Do you want to have it like that? The problem is I need... Two... Two on every side. And one on back and forth. I think I'll still just put that there, because I'm not even sure if I, how I'm gonna have a hatch. Okay, so we'll have these two. These two. Okay. Oh, no, it's the reverse. We want to have one on each side horizontally. I'm gonna figure out if there's a better setup here. Okay. And then we'll do that there. Okay, this... That didn't work. Well, at least that doesn't work for this section. I guess I can put them, like, right here. Yeah, that'll do. Probably... Oh. I got pushed out. That's really strange. Oh, yeah, this... This... This looks much nicer. Much more symmetrical-ish. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. One. Ugh. This is a nightmare from a positioning standpoint, and I, I hate it. But I guess it's okay. Hook that up there. Oops. Don't want to disconnect the... There we go. I think what I'll do before I even put this on, like, rotate these, is I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to walk into them. Uh, like, walk in front of them and see if they flip the craft. Because previously I wasn't really sure what I was doing. And I think this will be the easier option. Uh, for future things. Okay, there we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All good. Okay. So, it's gonna be 30, 30, nothing. On all of them. Because all we need this thing... Like, all, all we need to do in this case is, is bump into it, and it'll flip over. Hopefully. It's probably gonna fight with it itself, and I'm gonna have to mess with all the bearings. <sighs> Which is okay. And surprises no one. At least I don't have to do redo the, the uh, sensor programming. That's always helpful. Oh, I think we're still on a lift, too. Okay. Let's bump that over. Oof. You can practically feel them bumping. And grinding. The problem is they're all fighting with each other. But it is standing! And then we have to deal with the same issue on the other side. Okay, so that one, and... That one. Okay, there we go. Now, now that's stable. Almost midnight, we're going to be playing a new game called Bound. Okay. So we know we know how to we know how to do the uh the bearings now. We want them all to be pushing towards the inside, which makes total sense if I've been thinking about it. Okay. So if we pop this down, well, it's twirling like a ballerina. Call that close enough. Okay. Wonder Trap Prog 3. At some point I'll delete all of these, but for the time being, I'm gonna go play Bound. I don't know what it's gonna be. Should be fun.